Welcome to the scholars learning classes. In this video, we will be studying about your wastewater treatment plant. Now this is how your wastewater treatment plant is. Now this is the picture of one of the wastewater treatment plants. Now the wastewater treatment plant is a sewage treatment method from which the wastewater is cleared and it is made clean so that you can uh, dispose of the way, uh, water into the rivers back again. Now in this wastewater treatment plant what happens? First the wastewater is passed through a screen of vertical bars. Now this uh, you can see the screen of the vertical bars right this is the screen of the vertical bars that you can see From here, uh, the water is passed first, which remove large solid materials such as your plastic bags, cans and stickers. After that, the water is then passed through settling tanks known as grit chambers. Its uh, speed is reduced so that solids such as sand, slit and gravel settle down and removed. Now, these are your grid chambers where uh, the you know water is passed and it is allowed to settle down so that the sand or the dirt particular particle gets settled down now after this the waste water passes into the sedimentation tanks after this it passes to the uh, sedimentation tanks these are your sedimentation tanks called the Clarifers in which organic material settle down and are removed with these scrappers. This is called sludge. Now floating material like oil and grease is removed in this process. After that, this sludge is then used to obtain methane, carbon dioxide and a humus like material by a process called digestion. It is it consists of decomposing uh, the sludge with the help of anaerobic bacteria. Now next air is pumped through the clarified water in the aeration tank. Now in the aeration tanks what you do you pump the air on the water. This allows aerobic bacteria to grow and consume organic contaminants such as food waste and soap still left, uh, left in the water. Now the bacteria ultimately settle down at a bottom as activated sludge and the water is removed from the top. The dried sludge is used as manure. Now after that the clean water is flow or is disposed of to the river again. Now the treated water now contains low enough levels of organic matter and suspended impurities to be discharged into a water bodies. Now this is how the wastewater treatment plants take place. So first of all what is done the waste water is first passed through screen of vertical bars which remove large solid material like your plastic cans sticks etc right after that what happens the water is then passed through Settling tanks known as grit chamber. Under this, what happens? The uh, solid such as sand, sil settles down.
Now after this, the water passes to a sedimentation tank. The water is passed into sedimentation tank called clarifier. In this clarifier, what happened? In this organic material settle down and are removed with a scrapper. It this process is called sludge floating material like oil and grease are removed with the help of skimmer the water that emerges from the settling tank is called clarified water the uh, water that is obtained <coughs> from the settling or you can say sedimentation tank is called as clarified water now see first it goes to uh, you know vertical bars where your solid material is uh, you know disposed of after that it goes to grid chambers where your uh, solid uh, material such as sand, slate settle down. After that it passes to a sedimentation tank called cliffers in which sludge is used and the organic material like your oil and grease are removed. Now the water obtained from this tank is known as clarified water. Now next step what happens is air is pumped through the clarified water which we obtained in the sedimentation tank in an aeration tank now this allows aerobic bacteria to grow and consume organic contaminants such as uh, food waste and soap still left in the water. Now after that the water is discharged into water bodies. This is how your wastewater treatment plant works. I hope you have understood this. If you have any doubt, you can uh, write me on the comment box so that I can help you out with the doubts. Make sure you clear each and every doubt and download our Scholars Learning app.